welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys to Hobby Lobby to see what is new on their shelves for spring and summer. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I absolutely love going to Hobby Lobby about twice a month. I love stopping in periodically, seeing what they have new on their shelves. They're constantly changing things, constantly getting new stuff in, and they have been coming through in their home decor department. Let me tell you, they used to be kind of just a one-stop shop for like your DIY projects, you know, your art and craft supplies and whatnot, but they have really stepped up their game when it comes to their decor, their pictures, their pots, their vases, their floral stems. I'm here for it. So I went in a couple days ago, just wanted to see what they had new to their shelves. So I'm just gonna showcase what my favorite finds were and I hope you guys enjoy this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go to Hobby Lobby. So the first item I found walking into Hobby Lobby was this awesome ottoman. It had a rattan exterior and it was priced on clearance for $79.79. I just love the texture and I love the warmth that it gives off and it would make such a great addition to any living room space. This next item is part of their wall decor collection and I just loved how simple this was. This is just a dried floral pressed between two pieces of glass and framed out. If you wanted, you could hang it on the wall or you could lean it up against a wall as well. Well, and that was priced at $13.99. These next items were part of their spring collection. They were priced at $34.99 a piece, and they were in this whitewashed wood with ribbed exterior. I love them even just styled like this, stacked within one another. Okay, I'm pretty excited about these next items. I've never seen these at Hobby Lobby, and they are amazing. They are huge pots. This one was priced at $100. It was massive. It totally reminds me of the RH vessel that I actually have in my home. And again, this one is priced at $100. And the other one right next to it was rather large. And this one was priced at $150. If you wanted, you could elevate it a little bit more, step it up, make it a little bit more antique looking, or spray paint it if you wanted. But they were so awesome, and you can find those in their floral department. This next item of a hanging basket is definitely a trend we are starting to see more of. It was only priced at $9.99, but we are seeing these styled in people's mudrooms. We are seeing these styled in a laundry room with florals, just to add some texture. This next item was a huge wood riser. It had three different feats on it but I could definitely see this styled in someone's kitchen and it was only priced at $49.99 obviously with their 40% off spring shop these next items I was so excited to find in their spring collection if you are looking to host a party this summer these were awesome they were all plastic so you don't have to worry about anything breaking but I absolutely loved the color I loved the texture of the beadwork around the rim and I love how abstract the bowl was and when I turned the corner, little did I know they actually had a full capsule of this collection. They had plates, they had platters, cake stands, serving ware, and they also had it in white. So if you're not a fan of the beige color like I was, they also had this in white as well. But I thought this was a really great option for those of you who are going to be hosting any parties this summer. I definitely think Hobby Lobby is stepping up their game in the wood department. They had this entire aisle full of wood risers and bowls, dough bowls, platters, cutting boards. And one thing I really do love about Hobby Lobby is they have an array of colors. So you'll have your more of your yellow tones, you have whitewash for those of you who are more of a farm style, and then you also have your red wood as well. But love that little mini dough bowl and I just can really appreciate all the different wood items that they're bringing to their shelves recently. Sticking in the wood category, I came across these super cute wood measuring cups. They were priced at $30. Again, take into consideration, you're gonna have that 40% applied to anything that is spring related, but I loved those for their texture, their color, and would be so great on any kitchen counter. This spring mat is totally my style in a nutshell. We have black, we have white, we have brown burlap texture. 
This was priced at $39.99. Obviously, you're gonna have that 40% off, but I just loved the texture. I love the contrast between this, and I was actually debating on that for my laundry room. These next bowls came in a small and a large. The small one was priced at $15.99, and the large one was priced at $25.99. I did love the color. It's not super in your face green. It's very muted, kind of dark foresty green. And I just loved the texture of this bowl and I loved the shape. I thought this could be really cute styled next to a sink, even with a soap or some towels. This next pot totally reminded me of the infamous Anthropology Minka pot. The only difference is I love how subtle the exterior is on this one and it does come with a little lid. It was priced at $49.99, which is a little bit steep, but again, wait until they're having those sales in order to take that 40% off. And if you also wanted to give this a new fresh coat of paint and change the color, you could also do that as well. This next item is considered a wall decor. It's very small. I don't know how anybody would even put this on a wall. It was priced at $11.99, but I thought it would be really fun as a candle holder. So I love layering items like this for my candles. They have multiple dishes that I use for this type of style, but thought that could be really fun. This next artwork was super pretty and very beautiful. I think the flowers are poppies, sound off in the comments, but all it was was a piece of fabric that was inserted into a frame and it was priced at $30. I think this could make a really easy DIY. We're seeing a lot of this framed fabric and I think it's so fun and super unique. The next item is a double handled wooden tray. I think it's made out of mango wood. It was priced at $27.99. And if you are someone that loves super contrasting colors like myself, this would make a great piece to add to any style. Now, if you are someone that loves texture, these were super fun. This is just a vase wrapped in a rattan in black priced at $20. And they also had these ones, which were a hurricane glass with a rattan sleeve at the base. This one was priced at $21.99 and it also had a little bit larger version. And this one was priced at $25.99. Great for summer and great to add some warmth into texture tenny style. These next black lace vases are so similar to things that we are seeing on McGee & Co. for upwards of $248. This large one is priced at $19.99 and the smaller one was priced at $14.99. If you are on the hunt for some brass candlestick pillars, they have these in a tall, medium, and small ranging from $12 down to $6. I actually own these candle pillars and they are so great. They add so much warmth and so much contrast to any style. Now, if you are someone that loves a wood candlestick pillar, they had these ones which were rather new in kind of a light wash farmhousey type wood. This one was priced at $14.99 and then it had its larger brother there priced at $17.99. These were nice and tall as well. This next item is definitely very similar to the other tray that we saw black handles, but it was just a different shape. This one was priced at $34.99, could be styled with any lemons or fruit on it. If you're gearing up for the summertime, you can anticipate seeing these beautiful lanterns. This one was priced at $34.99 and it had a smaller version priced at $29.99. These would make great for any outdoor seating area or even your front door porch makeover. These next jars were so pretty. I loved how neutral they were. I loved the texture of the rattan sleeve on the exterior. They were priced at $27.99 and $21.99. I just thought those would be really great on an open shelving unit or even a laundry room. All right, you guys, and while I was there, they already were bringing out their fall decor. I cannot believe it, but these stems totally stood out to me. If you are wanting to get your stems a little bit earlier, I thought these were so neutral, so beautiful. They had them in a cream, kind of a light mustard color as well as a burgundy and they were priced at $11.99 a bundle. They are having their florals 50% off right now so now is the time to snag them. Alright you guys and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Hobby Lobby with me. We all love ourselves a little H&L if you know what I mean. Hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys in my next video. Until then, love ya. Peace. Mm -hmm.